healthcare has always in, been in the background since my mom's a nurse and we have other family members that are in healthcare as well. But I think what laminated for me wanting to be a doctor is my own experiences within healthcare. When, when I started transitioning, I've been like denied care, I've been mistreated. It's been a struggle, so that's been my motivation for wanting to change the medical education perspectives for better treatment of my community. I'm Thayer Swanson. Uh, I grew up in Portland, Oregon, but I'm originally from Riverton, Wyoming. Um, I went to an uh, undergraduate um, facility at Portland State University and I got my two bachelor degrees, one in philosophy and one in psychology. I moved as a kid after my mom uh, graduated from Central Wyoming College with a nursing degree and she uh, got a job with Kaiser Permanente in Portland, Oregon. Grew up in the suburbs, but it was kind of like a nice small town. You got the suburbs, you can go out and you can get that country feel, but you also got the urban city as well. Um, so it kind of uh, allowed me to see a lot of different socioeconomical situations and um, different like health care disparities too because Portland has a huge like houseless situation going on right now. I'm like the first generation in like five or six generations to not be from Montana or Arizona. So I've always wanted to go back to med school or go back to higher education in like Wyoming or Montana. It's been difficult, but it's been one of the most rewarding things I've done. I've only been here for like three months, but I feel like I've known like a lot of my peers for years. It feels like there's more community here. Like I'll be in the store and people will come up and just start talking to you. And I'm just kind of like, me? <laughs> I also really enjoy the easy access to just doing outdoors activities, um, like, you know, just the, the sites. I love going up to the rims and just looking at the city. I wanted to become a part of the student government, um, especially DEI, it's the only one I ran for, um, because I've seen the huge disconnect between DEI topics and like medical education and practice. Um, and to change practice, you kind of have to go to the root, which is medical education. And one of the reasons why there's such a huge health disparity within the LGBTQ community and especially the trans community is that there's no knowledge. It's not being taught. Um, most people don't know that they're engaging with this population or haven't at all. So part of the reason why I wanted to run is to raise awareness. I think you can't change things if people aren't visible but I understand why people aren't visible because it's kind of like a catch-22 of if you're not visible, then you can't change things. And if you can't change things, things won't get better. My family is a big motivator, my social support system. Um, I like my family and I grew up super poor. So having, having the ability to be a doctor and to like have that intergenerational wealth and to have that security is super invaluable as well. And even just my friends here give me motivation and support to continue on.